Well, hey there, everybody. I'm so glad you stopped by. I always love it when you decide to spend a little bit of your day with me. Today, I wanted to do something fun because I don't know about you, but I've always wondered what everyone does with their Stampin' Up! annual catalog. How do they set it up? How do they use it as a tool? Well, today, I'm going to give you a peek inside mine. I'm going to show you how I set it up to not only creatively uh, run my business, but to also decide what I want to buy, what I've already bought, and to log ideas for the future. I'm going to show you how I've tabbed it and what I keep inside it. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more, grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and come on, let's see what's inside. I don't know about all you, but when I got this catalog, I was just so excited. And it is something that I go to often. I am constantly flipping through it, and I wanted to give you a peek inside how I've set my up, mine up and how I'm using it um, just to be something that's very inspiring to me, and it's also a workbook. It is uh, the brain dump. It is my command center for all things fun and creative with Stampin' Up. How's that? I thought that sounded good. All right, so these are some of the things I use before I even open this up. I got a couple of Sharpie markers. I chose to stay just with black and brown, but of course you can use red, blue, purple, whatever. And then I, I had fun in... Um, Walmart getting some tabs. These are a little hard to write on. I'll tell you that you have to get good ink coming out of your Sharpie, but these are what I used along the top. And then these, I love these. <coughs> these are Avery and you can see I tried to pick a color that went with the catalog because it's going to be open all the time and I'm just like if it's visually appealing I will be more apt to open it up and use it. And these I got on Amazon. They are clear and they're called Pastel Transparent Sticky Notes and these are what I used right up there. These could also, if you want to be able to see the writing underneath on a page, you could use these. And then I use these several times uh, throughout the catalog. Uh, larger size sticky notes on Amazon. And then these are some old stickers I had in my stash, Erin Condren, and I use these stickers right here to mark different things in the catalog. All right, so getting that out of the way, let's push that out of the way. Let's look inside the catalog so I can show you what I did. I love the cover, the feel of it. It's a lot sturdier that it's just not gonna rip on us. So let's open it up. And one of the first, <coughs> Piece of tips I'd want to share with you is that when you get your catalog, open it up and press on it every, you know, 25 pages or so, and that way when you do open it up, it lays flat. So I printed up the scrapbooking brochure for September 2024, and this is, I believe, I'm going to have to look that up. It's right on the tip of my tongue. This is the executive size when you go into printing and you pick more and you can choose the size. This is executive size because I didn't want it bigger than the actual catalog. So here I have that right here with this catalog that I can look through it as I'm just thumbing through and deciding what I want to do with my life. All right, so here again we're going to flatten down the page and this is <coughs> my frequent, frequent reorder items. Uh, you know, when you're going on the website, you're going, oh my gosh, what is that number? Here, you have the item, the item number, and how much it costs, especially if you have, <coughs> what do they call those on the website when you earn a, it's a bonus and you get it for free? I total mind blank, I can't think of what it is, but you know what here uh, would qualify for that so that you can just put the item number in and you'd be able to purchase it. Now, when we move on to the next one, this is the wish list. So as you're strumming through your catalog with your cup of coffee or your glass of wine, and we probably do this once a week, you're just strumming through it, especially if you've seen a good video by another maker or demo, and you're going, oh my gosh, I love, why didn't I think I could do that with the suite? Well, then you wanna put that down on your wish list and then, of course, I have another sticky note here for, uh, I want to get all the in colors with the ink pads and the Stampin' Blends. 
my first point is write in your catalog, use sticky notes in it, and use tabs so that this is something that you have fun uh, looking through and being inspired by. All right, so let's move to what I've done at the top, and then we're going to do the side and I'll give you some more tips. You can see here on the top, I have all those small tabs, and it's these right here, and I just used the gold because they brought out the colors of the catalog, and I put the top 10, templates, memories, suites, stamps, storage, supplies, color, and then the index. And I want to show you where I put it. I want to hold on here because it was hard to grab it and still keep it in focus here. Let me make sure I'm in the middle. <coughs> You put the tab on the top of the page, and then when you want to go to that page, you slide your finger right underneath it, okay? And so when I'm putting this one down, when I find the next place that I want to put a tab, I will lift it up, I'll have already written down what it is, and you just have this one and you lay it right underneath, you know what I mean, so that it is lined up across the top. So use this one to mark where that one is, this one to mark with that one. Okay, it's no really big science, but it's good to know. And this is good to know, the top 10. If you have someone interested, what should I buy? This is great. All right, so under templates, I wanted to show you something. Terry Ga Gaines is a very successful Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and she offers this free on her website. So I wanted to tell you about it because any of you who saw these in the catalog. And if you're like me, you're not a card maker. I was a scrapbooker. And for me, looking at this, well, that's fun, but what are the basic sizes? And what are the sizes for all these? Girl, she has done that for you. What a gift she is to the Stampin' Up! community. So she has them all written up, and I keep it right here in my catalog. And I will have her linked below. Again, her name is Terry Gaines, and it is the annual catalog card sketches. So Terry, thank you so much from all of us uh, in Stampin' Up! All right, so the next one is Memories, Memories and More. And then I have a tab just for the sweets stamps, storage. Now here on storage, I want to point this out to you. It's hard to see that they have Stampin' Up! cases, they have grid paper down here, and they have the putty refills. So I wanted to put a sticky note for myself to remind myself, okay, there's more in this page that I can't necessarily see. And then on the tab up is supplies, and you notice how I'm going just in front of the tab I placed down color, color theory, and then where the index is. All right, and at the very back, I've put the mini catalog. So you see I have the annual, the mini, and then I have the flyer, the brochure up here. All right, so next thing I wanted to show you are, I showed you these two tabs here, which have my sticky notes. Well then when I go to the individual suites on the right hand side, and you can see the reason these are the basic categories. The suites have longer names, so I used a bigger tab. Let me show you what I do on these pages. If I have the ink pad, I put a check mark. I don't know if you've ever double ordered something because you get so excited or you're sitting there, you're filling up your cart, you haven't had two cups of coffee, you're tired, you're getting everything confused, next thing you know you order something you don't need. So in this catalog you definitely want to mark off what you already have. So there's a difference between a wish list and what you have and what you want. <laughs> okay, now this page is always fun to me because when I am watching other videos and I'm inspired by what people are doing or I'm looking through Google Photos and I go, oh my gosh, our trip to Italy, going to Rome, walking around, Florence, the Trevi Fountain. These are stories that I want to document using Mediterranean blooms. Now, if I have more than three things written down, I feel comfortable purchasing that suite because I know I'm going to use it. If I don't have anything written down on this page, I can give myself a stop and pause and don't impulse buy. 
this little sticker right here means I have this right here. I have this stamp set, I have the paper, and I have the die cuts. I do not have these right here because they were out of order. Out of order. <laughs> Unavailable. All right. Now, here we have another one where I have a difference between my storybook series and my 12 by 12, and I've started writing down different ideas and stories that I can document with this. So this would be safe for me to purchase because I have several things that I want to do with it. Also, here's another idea. Put a sticky note down. And when you're watching videos and you see a consultant coloring uh, a beautiful combination to do the airplane, write down the color she used. Now, if you actually use her card, make sure you give her credit on uh, YouTube or in your um, creative endeavor. But if you just want to write down some color combos, make sure you put those down because that will help you in the future. That when you're buying this kit, you also want to make sure you have those Stampin' Blends because you know you like how she colored that airplane. Alright, so to the market I have some. and Now this, I, I have fall layouts, but I don't have anything specific written down. So I would not jump and buy that right away. Alright, so now we're going to move on to... Um, I'm excited for this story. Uh, storage. And this is where I told you about um, having the sticky note there. And then we're into ribbon. And again, if you have it, put um, a little sticky note or here a sticker. But here, because they're so small, you might want to do a check mark. The point is, you need to have a system. You need to know that a blue dot means you have it, a red dot means you want to buy it, um, X means it's no longer even available. However you want to do that, have a system that is going to work for you. So this just breaks up all of these gems and then ad adhesives. But remember, I've written down what I purchase a lot in the very front of the catalog right here under I can flip it because I have that frequent frequent reorder items. All right. Now the silver are well. Let's go here. That's that's the adhesives. The silver are different things that I could do uh, blog posts on. I could do reels on because look at this. This is all about water water coloring. It's giving you tips for things you could do a reel on. You could do one on paint with water, one with pencil me in, one with watercolor pencils, another one with spritz bliss, and pretty in pastels. It literally is giving you the framework for what you can do a post on. It could, like I said, it could be a reel or it could be a YouTube video. And here, this is all about shaker cards and you can use shakers in your scrapbook spread. And this one is about masking. And then this one is about embossing. And then we have uh, the embossing folders, and then we have these two tabs. Okay, oh, this is the other thing I wanted to share with you. These are so confusing to me. I do not understand why Stampin' Up! did it this way, and I love you Stampin' Up! But the number, the order number, and there's no color name. It just says SU900 and SU1000. And it's kind of hard looking at this to tell what it is. And the higher the number is actually, um, and, and, well look, it doesn't even say what this number is on here. It's just showing the color and then the pack order. This is actually going to tell you what the number is. So I made myself, and when you go onto the website, you can actually uh, put these into a PDF and print them up however you want to do that. I'm not that computer savvy. But you may not know what you have and what the two are and what the order number is so that you look at this and you order what you already have. But see how this shows it? It's showing um, SU700 and 800 and they're getting darker as the number is getting lower. You think it would be the opposite. And here is SU300 and SU400. So you think they'd be getting lighter, but they're not. So that's one way it can be confusing. So I make sure I keep this right here. So when I'm ordering, it's a little clearer for me. And here's how I do what I have in my craft studio. I have drawn 
uh, for the ink pads and for the Stampin' Blends, I've drawn a square around them. So when I get back up here and I think I want to um, do, okay, Take to the Sky, Mossy Meadow, I would go all the way back here and go, do I have Mossy Meadow or do I have those Stampin' Blends? Because you can be pulling the Stampin' Blends out and it can take you a half hour to pull each one out and read the side of the pen, the Stampin' Blend, is this Mossy Meadow. But here I can look at it and go, oh, I definitely have, there's Old Olive, where is Mossy Meadow? Where's Mossy Meadow? Right there, I have that Stampin' Blend. So you see how that can work for you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, enjoyed sharing it with you. Again, as always, I hope that what I'm doing blesses you. And if it is, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a non-monetary way that you can support my channel and let me know that you appreciate it. And stay tuned because a video will come up that's showing you the next video in this series. And, you know, be sure to share with me a tip that you found of value. And if you have another tip for this catalog, please put it in the comments because I will add it to my catalog and I appreciate you sharing with me. All right, my friends, until we meet again in YouTube land, God bless. Have an incredible day. Bye-bye.